Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectra team. And in this video, I will show you how to set up WordPress, how to install a ready-made design with starter templates, and how to set up the WordPress Astra theme. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. So back in Hostinger, click on admin panel. And when you do that from Hostinger, you are automatically logged in. So here you have an onboarding process from Hostinger, but we're just going to click on dashboard. And from here, you can start building your website. So now that we have our domain name and web hosting, it's time to set up WordPress as well as our theme and essential plugins. So in WordPress, you want to go to plugins, add new plugin. Then in the search field, type starter templates, click on install now and activate. Next, we're going to select classic starter templates. So click on build with templates. By default, it is set to the block editor, which is what we need for this course. And we're going to select this pre-made design called We All Love Nature. So click on it. And here you can upload your logo. So click on upload file here. And you can either drag and drop or click on select files. I'm going to click on select files. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you find the link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. And at this point, I suggest you add all the web assets that you find in the course files. So I'm going to select this first image here, then scroll down, hold the shift key on my keyboard and click on the last item so that everything is selected here. Next, I click on open. And next, we're going to select our logo. We have two versions. So I'm going to use this one here, the light version. Then click on select and where you see logo width, we're going to change the size to 160. And just below you see the typography options. We're not going to change this because we'll change it later in the video and the same goes for the color palette. So just click on continue and here you can select additional features you'd like on your website, like donations, automations and integrations, sales funnels, video player and free live chat. But I'm going to skip this step for the moment. And here you can fill in the form to help developers make the products even better in the future. And once you're done, make sure all the options are selected so that starter templates can install and activate the Astra theme. It will also install the Spectra Visual Website Builder and set it up exactly as in the demo. So next, click on Submit and Build My Website and then sit back, relax and enjoy the short flight. And congratulations, your website is ready and it took just 19 seconds to build. Yeah. So next, click on view your website. We want to start customizing the identity of our website and we'll do that with the Astra theme customizer. And in case you're wondering why we don't do everything with Spectra, well, let's just say that we'll be using Spectra for the pages. But when it comes to options like the header, the footer and other identity aspects of our website, we're going to use the Astra theme. Now Spectra works with all WordPress themes and that's awesome. But as you may imagine, it plays exceptionally well with the Astra theme. With its header and footer builder, its lightweight footprint, and its search engine optimization orientation. So there are two ways you can access the Astra customizer. Either from here, you can just click on customize in the admin bar, or you can go back to the WordPress dashboard, then go to Astra, customize. But before we do that, let's go to pages, all pages. And here we see all the pages that were installed with our demo. So the first thing we want to do is hover over sample page and we're going to click on trash because we won't be needing this page. Next, hover over privacy policy and click on edit. Now we can close this pop-up. And right now the state of this page is draft, which means you can view it, but it's not publicly viewable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to publish it. All right, so our page is now live. Now, ideally, you would replace this text by your own legal text, or you could use this as inspiration and adapt it to your own website. As always, it's always better to consult a professional for that. All right, now let's go back. Let's click on the WordPress icon here, and we're back in pages. And what we want to do now is we want to change the order of pages. So first, hover over home, click on quick edit, and where you see order, we're going to type one, then click on update. Next, hover over about, click on quick edit, and this time, let's type 20. Click on update. Next, services, quick edit, this time 30. Click on update. 
next contact quick edit 40 and one more time click on update and finally hover over privacy policy quick edit and this time let's give it a value of 100 and click on update now you may be wondering why is it 1 and then 20 30 40 why not 1 2 3 4 well, simply because down the line, we may want to add additional pages that have to come in between those pages. So basically giving it a bigger number just gives us more room for flexibility. All right, so now let's refresh our page. And there you go, home about services contact and privacy policy. So now if I want to add a page between services and contact, all I have to do is check the value 30 and the value of contact is 40. So all I need to do is give the new page a value between 31 and 39. All right, let me click on cancel here. Next, let's go to settings, reading. So here you see that currently our home page is a static page, the page called home, and we don't want to change that. But if you wondered how to specify the home page of your website, this is where you do it. And if we had a blog, we would choose the page for the blog here. But more about that later in the course. Next, where you see for each post in the feed include, well, you want to switch it from full text to excerpt. And next, you may want to change the options for search engine visibility. If you're building your website, you may not want the search engines to index your website because you're still working on it. So we are going to select this option. But once you launch, make sure you deactivate that option. Once again, more about that later in the course. Next, click on Save Changes. All right, now we can start changing the identity of our website. So go to Astra, customize. Then you want to go to global, typography. And here we're going to change the body font. So click on the little pencil icon. And where you see font family, you want to click on the drop down. And we're going to look for pop-ins. All right, let's close this. And let's repeat the operation for the headings font. Click on the pencil icon, font family, and one more time pop-ins. Now specifically for this demo, the H4 font comes with a custom font. So we're going to repeat the operation and once again, we're going to use pop-ins. All right, so let's click on publish to save our work. Now let's scroll back up. Let's go back one step, then click on colors. And here we're going to change our global color palette. Now the strength of the global color palette is that we only need to define our colors once. And let's say later down the line, you want to revamp your identity and you want to go from this color to this color. Well, you only need to change it once. And as you can see here, all through the website, all instances that had this color are going to change in just one click. Now, let me put it back to the way it was, but you get the idea. So in the course files, you want to locate the text subfolder and locate the colorpalette.txt file. And all we're going to do is we're going to copy each color code to each color slot in the customizer. So let me copy color one and paste it in the slot one. Color two. Color three. Color four. Color five. Color six should already be the right one. Color 7, Color 8, and Color 9. Next, let's change the theme colors. So for the accent, click on the color icon and select color number 5. Let's close this. Now for the links, click on the first color, select color 1. And for the hover color, you want to select color 5. Next, for the headings, let's pick color four, and the same thing for the body text, color four. Next, where you see content background, click on the color, and let's pick color number six. All right, now let's click publish to save our work. Next, let's go back to top, let's go back one step, and click on scroll to top. Now enable scroll to top, so click the toggle on, and first we wanna change the icon size to 21. Next, click on the design tab, Set the icon color to color number six and the icon hover color to color number nine. Next, the background color should be set to color number five and the background color hover color should be set to color number four. 
All right. Next, where you see border radius, you want to click on the link icon here, and we're going to type 90. So now it's 90 pixels all around. So now if we scroll down the page, we can see here our scroll to top. And if we click on it, it works as expected. Okay, let's click on publish to save our work and let's go back. And next you want to click on miscellaneous and enable smooth scroll to ID. And as the name suggests, that will allow us to go smoothly from one element to another element on the same page. And we'll see that later in the course. Let's click on publish to save our work. So now that we've set up WordPress and Astra, in the next video, I will show you how to customize your website's header and footer.